Hey guys, and welcome back to STL TV Live. Now joining me in the studio is Carmen Gwen. How are you doing today? I'm well, Christia. Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you. Now you have a lot going on with Salsa. Tell yes. us about what you're doing in the city, in St. Louis with yes. Salsa. Not the, not the food that <laughs> not you the, eat, not the, the dance. Exactly, <laughs> the dance, of course. This weekend we're having the St. Louis International Salsa Conference, which is uh, going to be September the 30th through October the second really exciting convention of workshops, dance workshops from instructors from all over the United States and dance teams that are going to perform throughout the weekend. So it's just an amazing event. This is our second year. And yeah, that's just, what I was yeah. just going to say. Your second year and this is actually a new thing for St. Louis because a lot of times for Congresses you have to go to Chicago or exactly. LA. How did you manage to bring this to St. Louis? Yeah, well, I've been I've been dancing for almost 14 years now, and um, I remember back then I wanted to see a Congress here in St. Louis, and so um, last year was just the right time to do that, uh -huh. and and. Uh, brought it in and have friends from all over, uh, you know, at different congresses and all, and they wanted to come and, and uh, it's, here it is, we're here. So it's, it's Great. exciting, Now, yeah. for those who don't know what a Salsa Congress is, what is it and how did it get that name? Yeah, Congress really means Congreso, okay. uh, well, or, or gathering, okay. so to speak. And so, um, basically, it's, it's just a convention. So if you've ever been to some type of convention, before, it, it's the same thing, except that they were doing dancing. We're doing salsa, bachata, merengue, cha-cha-cha. And instructors come and teach their style of that dance. Um, so it's, it's, it's the same as a, as a convention. Great. Yeah. Now there's four days of this going on. Yes. What could be expected in these four days? Yes, the first day uh, is Thursday night, which is at Club Dante. So that's the kickoff party. So mm -hmm. people are going to come and there's going to be a live band that's going to be playing and you're able to learn some salsa, uh, have a salsa lesson there. And then Friday uh, is when the whole weekend starts. Okay. So the classes start, the workshops begin, and the night performances with the, uh, the different dance teams will start there too. Now are you so, on a dance team at all? I am. I, I am the uh, uh, artistic director of Almas Del Ritmo Dance Company okay. and we have three teams and I am on one of the teams. Tell us a little bit about what are their styles? What's the difference between like a, I guess, a ballroom salsa dancer and just yeah. a street salsa dancer? Will there be both of those or? There will be both, um, mm -hmm. a little bit more of the, the street style, so mm -hmm. to speak. Um, and, and the difference is that the ballroom style is very technical. So you, the lines are very straight and, and, and uh, points and uh, mm -hmm. fig, you know more figure and <laughs> posture. <laughs> posture. Uh -huh. Whereas the street dancers are, if you were like in the heart of uh, Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico, you will see that the guy with the tumbales and they're just they're just jamming and dancing. It's more uh -huh. of a it's more of the cultural feel of of the dance, and you'll see more of those type of dancers at this event. So you said there will be um, instructors there and yes, classes. Yes. What if someone's, you know, very new, just interested in dancing salsa, a little intimidated because there's a lot of, you know, great salsa <laughs> dancers there. What would you say to that person? I say this is the best way to just drown yourself in it because it's, it's for the novice all the way to the professional. And that is just, uh, the, it, it's, it's, everyone's really interactive with each other. So we make everyone feel really comfortable. So everybody will have a good time. You guys, don't go yeah. anywhere. We have a lot more coming up with Carmen telling us about the Salsa Congress that's going on this weekend, September 29th through October the 2nd at the Millennium Hotel. There's going to be dancers and live bands and um, people from all over the country actually yes. coming out yes. for this. You guys, so we got a lot more coming up with this. <laughs> Remember to keep up with STL TV and all of the great events going on around St. Louis. You can friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, you can catch us streaming live at stltv.net. We'll be right back more with a little bit of salsa. Hey guys, and welcome back to STL TV Live. In the studio with me is Carmen Gwen. She's the Artistic Director of Almas de Ritmo, and there's a Salsa Congress going on this weekend that she's telling us about. Now, we were just talking about, you know, novice dancers, people who haven't, you know, really stepped onto the scene of dancing, but they're really interested. 
Um, tell us about the different dances styles that would be there. I know you have like merengue yes. and salsa. What's merengue? What's salsa? Yeah, so merengue more so is a Dominican uh, Republic style of dancing. So it's a more of a two-step dance to the music, mm -hmm. um, and and it breaks more on the downbeat. Where salsa, uh, there's different styles. There's the Puerto Rican style. There's mm -hmm. on one, on exactly. two. Exactly. So <laughs> you know, people are like, are they right. dancing on one or on two? Exactly. So, are, will there be on one or there on two? There will be uh, both on one uh -huh. and on two style of dancing. Um, you get asked that question quite a bit, but I tell I, us why that question why? is asked. I, because people like one style sometimes mm -hmm. over another one. But when you learn them both and you understand the music. It doesn't matter if you dance on the one or the two, and basically what that means is that you're breaking on on either on one or on two on the beat. So it's 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 a preference for people <laughs> that they go through this whole this whole nonsense. I think. Now you also have <laughs> this weekend. There's a Catherine Dunham classes that will be yes. going on. T talk about that. Yes. Um. On on Sunday there are going to be uh, Catherine Dunham classes at this at the Salsa Congress. Um, and actually, there's also a Zumba class at, oh, wow. at the Congress, so it's going to be great. Zumba is very popular now. Yes. Who will be the instructor? Yes. Is it someone from out of town or someone here? Yeah, yeah several. Um, oh, wow. I, I'm going to teach one of the Zumba cool. parties, a master's class, and then we have Bettina Bolger, who is from actually from Venezuela, but she lives in Davenport, Iowa, and she's going to come down and teach the class as well. So it's going to be a big party. Sounds like a big yeah, party, big yeah. party. Now again, this is where at the Millennium Hotel. Millennium Talk a little Hotel. bit about the um, accommodations. Will it be parking? Can people? Yes. Um, grab yes. A hotel there. A yes. Hotel room, yeah. It, this is a perfect like stay in town getaway mm -hmm. weekend. Um, there are definitely a couple rooms left available. There are parking that will be available for um, uh, those who are attending. Um, online now is the best time to get the parking passes because they are, are a little little cheaper, but. Um, other than that, uh, it's going to be just a fantastic weekend. Awesome. Uh, yeah. What are you looking forward to most this weekend? Oh, oh wow! It's just oh wow! We've added so much. Um, we have two salsa band, or two bands coming in. So Saturday night will be a salsa band, Nabori, and then also Johan Soriano, who is a bachata artist. So Great. that is going to be crazy, and uh, the performances are just going to be absolutely outstanding. So I'm excited, excited about that. people! Yeah. I will be in the building. <laughs> Salsa dance and merengue. Yeah. You know, it is. It's a perfect getaway, and you're staying right here in right St. Louis. Right here in the city. You guys, things like this don't come to St. Louis that often, <laughs> and hopefully, they'll, this will be an annual thing. Yeah. Um, you guys, for more information, you can always call 651 2908 or you can go to stlsalsacongress.com. Thank you so much for being with us Thank today. You. I you appreciate guys, it. Guys, don't miss this opportunity to have so much fun this weekend. Up next, we'll be talking to, to the fashion style editor of the St. Louis Magazine. Remember to keep up with STL TV and all of the great events going on around town like this one. You can friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to catch us streaming live at stltv.net. We'll be right back after this.